Yeah, I was talking about um, when I, I emailed, well, I replied to that Janice on me, you know, on me, about me blog. Anyway, um, and so when I replied to her, uh, I said I'd be to America and um, my brother-in-law, who lives in America, um, was funny with me, you know, I felt like coming home, you know, big end. Anyway, um, I was saying that uh, he lived in Fairfield, California, that's where they live. <clears throat> And it was their names what made me, why I said, I said, he was from Tennessee uh, and from Indian blood, because she was mentioning that she was from Indian blood, Apache or something like that, you know. Anyway, so I said, his surname was Presley. Which it is, uh, his name is Presley. Uh, it's Dory and Wayne Presley. And they're, fair, they're from Fairfield, California. And they've got a lovely uh, a bungalow. You know, it's like a, like a ranch type bungalow. Massive it is. I think it's three bedrooms or four bedrooms. But uh, it's got a nice plot. But their name's Presley, and I wasn't, I wasn't joking or nothing, or pulling a leg or nothing. The name's Presley, um, and if you look it up on the web, on the, you know, I don't know if you have a, you know, um, um, but there's a Presley in, in Fairfield, California. And people get all the number on of them, of them, you know, thank you, directory, you know. I don't know, it must be in the directory or something, I don't know. Anyway, they get hold of the, and they ring up and they ask, is Elvis in? And she'll say, oh, just wait a minute, I'll get him. <laughs> and, she doesn't hang up, she just lets the, the phone line, you know. But, uh, and then she'll put it down, it doesn't cost her head anything. But, um, their name's Presley, and they're from Tennessee. But there's lots of Presleys in America, and a lot of them changed their name by people. But from those from, like, from uh, Tennessee, you know, there have been, you know, there are lots of presidents from Tennessee um, that actually are named Presley because he was from, um, well, he was an Indian, you know. I think those all those people in Tennessee are, are from Indian blood because, you know, they seem to settle down there, you know, in the swamps and that, you know, I suppose there was good hunting around there, you know, uh, and as many, not many people, uh, you know, um, um, because Tennessee is full of swamps and everything, isn't it? You know, and I suppose the white men didn't bother them so much down there. You know, uh, so they had more of a because it is, isn't it? it? It stretches for hundreds and hundreds of miles. You know, you know, all the, all it is is water and trees and that. You know, but. Um, Swamps they are, yeah, 
Well, I wasn't, I wasn't pulling a leg or nothing. And I said he was the ex-brother-in-law, you know, because he was. I divorced my wife because she was, well, I'm not going into that, you know, but I divorced her uh, because, and just because I'm not going to go into that. Um, but he is my ex-brother-in-law, and I said I'd never go there again, you know, because he was naughty with me. Actually, when I, when I was going through the departure gate, I gave him the finger. You know, the pair of them, because actually after two weeks I felt like coming home because of something he said to me, you know. And had it not been for the missus saying to me, oh, well, you know, just grin and bear it, I'd have come home, you know. I'd have got the, uh, they got the next flight that went out of America, I would. Because, you know, they're not my type of people. They're like, they like gambling and, you know what I mean? They like going to Reno and Las Vegas and that, you know, and on the, on the slots. I don't like that. I wanted to see a bit of America, which I never got to see really. I mean to say, he was funny with me. I said to him, um, can you, um, you know, can we go and see, you know, um, the Grand Canyon? And he said, oh no, I can't be doing that. So anyway, I got up one morning. I I got, I had 500, well, I went to the hole in the wall, got $500 out. Thought, well, that'll be enough. And I went to the, Las Vegas airport and it was just about well be about nine o'clock nine a.m. you know in the morning I went to Las Vegas airport and I asked is there any uh, you know helicopters goes to, La uh, to the Grand Canyon and they pointed me to this place you know saw these hangars and there was a helicopter there well, there was a couple of helicopters, and I said, is there any helicopters going to, uh, you know, uh, Grand Canyon? And he said, uh, is it just for you? I said, yeah, just for me. He said, uh, we can take it for $300. He said, uh, it'd be about a uh, 40-minute round trip, like, you know. I said, oh, that'll do, do me. I give him the three hundred dollars, and I went. And what it was, it was a bubble. Uh, you know, cockpit. It was a bubble cockpit. It wasn't. I didn't tell me missus had gone. I didn't. You know, I didn't tell them. I just went out, and they they suppose they thought I was downstairs playing the the, the slot, which I wasn't. I went to see the Grand Canyon, and it was brilliant, it was. It was better than going in a bloody car. I couldn't have trusted the old fart anyway. Anyway, I, I paid, you know, and it was well worth it. It was. I'd have paid 500. But I got away with 300, I don't know why. But, you know, uh, he said, uh, yeah, I'll take you for 300. And I give him the money. You know, so I got a good deal, I thought, oh, well, anyway, I got there, it was about 40 minutes round trip, uh, I was well pleased, you know, it was a nice morning, the sun was up and everything, you know, it was nice, yeah, so I got to, to see the Grand Canyon, actually I float, float, right over it and we went down in the canyon a bit you know and along you know um, um, the river like you know what I mean um, Colorado we went along that you know for a bit yeah it was, it was enjoyable it was I really enjoyed the space because uh, that's why I went to America to see the Grand Canyon and he wasn't going to take me you know and 
he was funny with me. And so I thought, well, I can be the same, you know. Anyway, when we were we were out on the, the boat, I said, uh, I won't be coming back here again, that's for sure. You know, I said it to uh, Doreen. Uh, I didn't mind her so much as him. He's big-headed, big-headed, you know. Big-headed, big, big head, big mouth. But, uh, no, I didn't like him. He's naughty man, he was. Naughty. Yeah, Wayne. Wayne and, and Doreen Presley, Fairfield, California. I'm not telling a lie. That's the truth. Anyway, I'm going. Take a bloody week to download this. Bye.